In this video I'm going to complete example 1 and we're going to calculate the area of the following triangle correct to one decimal place. Now I'm going to show you two methods when calculating the area of this triangle. We'll refer to them as method 1 and method 2. You will find that method 1 is nice and quick and easy uh, but it's also risky. It's risky because you're more likely to make a mistake. Method 2 is going to take longer, but it's not going to be as risky as method 1. Anyway, let's look at our triangle. We have two sides, 35.4 metres and 28.3 metres. You'll notice that between these two sides, we have what is known as our included angle. It is very important that the angle is the included angle or the angle between the two sides otherwise this won't work so we'll start with the quick but risky method here and we'll start with our formula area equals half a B sine capital C and I want to remind you that the lowercase letters a and B represent sides and capital letters capital C represents our angle. So when we write our formula down we got to go area equals half times A times B. So A and B are our sides of 28.3 and 35.4. Doesn't really matter what order you put them in. Next in the formula it says that we're going to use sine so we multiply it by sine and then capital C being our angle. We'll write that down as 73 degrees. Bringing up our calculator, we can now work this out. We start with half. I like to cheat. I like to go 0 0.5, which is easier to type in, times 28.3 times 35.4 times sine of 73 degrees. And we get 479 Point, it wanted it to correct to one decimal place, so we'll say 479.0. 479.0. Units were in meters, so we're going to say meters squared. This is area. Now let's work on method two. I haven't given myself enough room, so luckily I can drag this over a little bit. Now with method two, it's basically all the same steps. What's different is in the labeling of the diagram. So I'll rub out all these markings. What you do is our formula has a capital C which represents an angle. So we want capital C to be the vertex where the angle of 73 degrees is on this triangle. We also need to label our other capital letters, our capital A, and our capital B. Doesn't really matter where those ones go but the capital C needs to be at the angle. After doing that we need to label our lowercase letters. Opposite capital C is lowercase c, opposite capital B is lowercase b, and opposite capital A is lowercase a. So the only reason this took a little bit longer is we had to label our vertices and our sides. Now what you'll notice is that we've got a value for lowercase a, a value for lowercase b, and a value for uppercase c. So now we can take our formula, area equals half a b sine c, and we're just going to substitute these values in place of the letters. So half times a, a being 35.4 times b, B being 28.3, I'm running out of room, so I'll go down the next line, times sine of C, C being 73 degrees. We plug this into our calculator and we're going to get the exact same solution as we did with the quick and risky method. 479.0 meters squared. Anyway, I'll leave it up to you to decide which method you prefer here. 
That concludes our video on example one. Remember to read the description below for links to work booklets that relate to this video.